Alexa, tell me a joke. Two antennas got married. The wedding was boring, but the reception was excellent. What's going on, everybody? Uh, my name is Peter. I'm back here with a, a video, um, kind of revisiting the Echo Dot and the original Echo. Um, this time, we're going to talk uh, kind of decor, a way to uh, dress up your Echo Dot and uh, the original Echo as well. Uh, a company here called uh, Wasserstein. I don't know if it's if it's a German Wasserstein. I don't know. Anyways, um, it's made in China, so who knows? <laughs> um, but they sent me a box full of goodies here. Um, basically just some things to kind of dress up your Echo Dot and the original Echo, um, which I thought was pretty cool. You know, it's it's one of those things I'm probably going to be getting some more of the dots, and uh, this might be kind of a, a better way to have them put throughout your house without being little pucks sitting around. Um, if you, you know, if you have the wife who uh, doesn't like the idea of technology being out, um, it's a great way to, to hide things and, and kind of make it look pretty neat. So uh, anyways, I'm going to tear into this box and uh, kind of show you what they sent me and what they have available um, and give you my impressions of it, see if there's any issues um, that I can see and uh, yeah, basically just give you an idea of some, some cool ways to dress up your Echo. So let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to go through these boxes right now. Um, they did send me an email list of everything they'd be sending me, but I honestly didn't really look at it that, that in depth. Um, I did see the owl though, that was the first thing that caught my eye. I thought that thing was really cool. So it's cool getting that set up there. So let's see what they got. Jeez, it's pretty heavy duty. That is solid metal. Man, that's some serious stuff right there. So it looks like a metal base for the original Echo. Um, I don't know what this is, a little bit smaller. This looks like more of a more of a plastic base, a lot lighter than this one. Jeez, this thing is, you know, seriously heavy. So, yeah, this one's more of like a, a gloss white plastic, which I kind of like. It's very modern looking. And uh, let's see what else I got. Oh yeah, I remember this one. This looked really cool. I think I'm going to end up going with this one. So this is actually, uh, I think it advertises their bamboo base for the Echo. Um, and uh, I think, believe it or not, I think it's real wood, which is, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go grab the Echo, and uh, I'm going to set it in these things, and uh, we're going to give it a go right now. So here we go. This is the first Echo base I pulled out here. This is uh, the metal finish. It's actually not a metal finish. It's solid metal. I'm going to tell you, it's like NASA made this thing. I don't know how they, they build it, if it's CNC or not, but it's solid for sure. Definitely a great base um, if you're looking to maybe put your, your Echo in, in a place where it has a chance of getting knocked over. I love these startup noises. <laughs> Hello. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, a solid thing if you're going to have it in a kid's playroom, something like that, in the living room on a low table. Um, this will definitely protect this thing from, from getting knocked around. Um, I guess it's the main thing. It looks great, too. Um, definitely kind of dresses up your Echo a little bit. Obviously, you're not hiding this thing, per se, um, you know, just because it's so big. Um, that's why you buy the dot. But uh, at least what it does cover up is my little hack job I did with my headphone, um, which isn't terrible. Uh, and then obviously that was before the Echo Dot came out, so um, you know, the base might hide that a little bit. But so far I really like this. Um, what I'm going to do right now, and I'm going to do it with all the bases, is uh, just give it a test. I'm going to, you know, make sure it sounds good. Uh, it's all good if you want to dress up your Echo, but if it doesn't function properly, then what's the point? So, uh, Echo, play me some 311. Shuffling songs by 311. So I'm just going to kind of turn it up. Obviously, you guys aren't going to hear me talking, but I just want to have a listen and see if it affects the 360 at all. Yeah, so I mean... 
still sounds really good. You can feel the uh, the air being pushed out of this little thing. I mean, these these echo dots, it's great. I keep this in the bedroom and the, and the bass out of this is just fine. Even though I do have the surround sound throughout the house, I still sometimes just play music out of this just because it's easy. So, but uh, no, it sounds great. So, um, yeah, sounds good, looks good. Definitely happy with this one. So let's uh, take a look at the other ones here. So this is pretty funky looking. Um, I kind of like it. You know, it's definitely uh, definitely unique having the wood like that. Um, you know, it's I, I guess I think it's real wood the way the grain are and everything like that, which is pretty neat. So um, I, definitely a, robust as well. This is a lot lighter um, than the metal base, um, but obviously it's gonna just by widening this echo footprint. Um, again, stop listening. I'm not even I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about you. So uh, it, it's definitely going to. Um, help its uh, stability, which is, I guess, if it's a concern. Um, again, I'm thinking just practical practical uses, um, but really if you're buying these, um, it's for aesthetics, <laughs> you know, and for, I think most of these are, were around 20 bucks. I think some of them were like 16 bucks, something like that, when I looked real quick. So for the price, it's, it's kind of cool. You know, you, you couldn't make this for the amount of money, um, you know, you, you, they're buying it for. So um, definitely a good little deal. So again, we're going to play some music. Echo play. Here's a station you might like, Sublime. Hmm. Maybe it's just me, but rising to a street. Light me up that cigarette shoes on. Believe it or not, actually, I think it actually it, it seems to make the audio, which would make sense, I'm standing right above it, but it definitely isn't uh, kicking up in me. Obviously, this is going to probably make it more directional, so let me actually take a step back and listen. Yeah, I don't know. It actually, it, it makes it seem a little bit more directional, which I guess uh, could be a plus, depending if that's what you're going for. Um, because obviously me standing above it, this is going to deflect the audio a little bit more. So, something to note, but uh, other than that, definitely uh, a cool looking little setup there. Alright, so this is the last one, um, which actually I think might be my favorite. <laughs> um, this is probably the cheapest of them all, I mean it's just plastic um, and some metal rods, but I really like the way that looks. I'm into, uh, you know, Stormtrooper looking things, so obviously I'm going to gravitate towards this, but uh, also it hides the uh, Amazon logo, which I like, and uh, hides my little hack uh, um, headphone adapter, so I really like that. Um, again, this is going to be stable, you know, it's, it's going to make it so it doesn't want to tip over if someone hits it, uh, which is nice, and uh, yeah, I think it's really cool looking, kind of space age. <laughs> so again, let's give it a test and uh, have a listen. Alexa, play. Oh, I'm sorry. Not you. Stop. I'm sorry, by Blake Shelton. Alexa, stop. Jeez. See, so in case you didn't notice, my living room Echo is called Alexa, and this one is called Echo. So, Echo, play. Here we go. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn it up, have a listen, let you guys know what it sounds like. You're bound to get sore, love's what I got. Don't start a right now. You feel it when the dance gets hot. So that actually, that sounds pretty good to me. Um, unlike the uh, the wood one, it's not as directional. Again, this isn't that thick, so I think it's letting it um, disperse a little bit better, which is uh, something to note, I guess. Um, but uh, it sounds good. Also, one thing I didn't notice, uh, the wood bamboo did not have uh, feet underneath it, little sticky feet. You could probably add them and go to a hardware store. So when I was, I don't know if you noticed when I was turning it up, the base was sliding. Um, something to note. Just something to be aware of, but um, so far these things are great, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a cheap way to, to kind of dress up, a, you know, something that's going to be sitting in your living room, bedroom, or or uh, kitchen, so, you know, definitely a cool little product that they've designed over there. Alright, lastly, here's the Echo Dot Owl. This thing is cool looking. It looks mean. 
<laughs> um, so this uh, is pretty self-explanatory. You drop your, your Echo Dot right into it. Now one thing I did have to do, um, as you can see I am running the uh, headphone jack. Um, you can see it hits a little bit. Granted this is a giant old school headphone adapter. Um, so what I actually had to do, this came with, I will show you, um, a rubber base underneath here and this is it. Uh, I was just held in with some glue. I pulled it out just to give the um, sticky glue, ugh, just to give the Echo um, a little more room so it's not sitting up as much. Um, but, you know, simple little fix there. And uh, I think it looks really cool. Just a way to tuck your, your Echo, um, make it look a little, uh, make it look a little hidden. So I was uh, pleasantly happy with, with this little guy sitting in, the, uh, sitting in the living room here. So now when people wonder where my Echo Dot is, it's in the owl. <laughs> cool. All right, so that's it. Um, the uh, Wasserstein Home Company has uh, the ones that designed and created these things, and uh, I will post links on how to get these on Amazon. Um, obviously, you can search them, get them on Amazon. Um, but definitely a cool little product, something you wouldn't really think of uh, when it comes to Echo and, uh, and uh, you know, decorating your house and, and things like that. So it's uh, neat little products so definitely approve um, next video I think I got coming up here um, obviously as of I think just a couple days ago they released the the Echo Look um, is what I think it's called or the Echo Show Echo Show that's what that's what I was going for Will you stop I'm trying to make a video <laughs> um, and uh, basically of course you're not <laughs> it's the uh, it's the Amazon Echo with a screen built onto it. Now, I'm really excited about that because I am switching my whole uh, surveillance system over um, to, I think, Ring is where I'm going to go. As you saw in my last video, I made the Ring doorbell review, and uh, now they have the Ring stick-up cam. I think I'm going to go that route, and uh, obviously once the, uh, the show comes out, um, you know, I will be able to do a video on that. So other than that, stay tuned, uh, stay tuned rather. Um, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.